Alright, so after after a whole day of wrenching, we got rid of the single cam head, which is over here. Right, and the turbo setup. The turbo, I'm very disappointed because it's missing a compressor wheel. So, it's hard to see but there's no compressor wheel inside. So, it's a bit disappointing and useless. Regardless of the condition of the turbo, maybe someone wants this setup. This complete cylinder head, single cam cylinder head, 8 valve with the exhaust manifold and the turbo. So, I'm selling that on Facebook Marketplace right now. In its place, it's uh, Galant GTI head so it's the big port for G63 since it's the first gen for G63 it has an input for the cam angle sensor the distributor like CAS that the GTI uses and the other uh, 1G DSMs use striking is the G4CP valve cover with the very ultra rare Kia spark plug cover so this, if I'm not mistaken, this has come out only in one vehicle. The G4 CP engine is found in several Hyundais but only one Kia. So that's the Kia Joyce or the Kia Car Star. I'm very lucky to have acquired both. At least uh, it will match the Korean car that we are fitting this in. So the Evo 4, 4 Turbo is mounted... Uh, as such, it does not completely fit. I have, there are some modifications needed for it to clear. But at least the compressor is orientated forwards and the exhaust, the turbine assembly is mounted correctly in the right manner. So that should be good. Sorry for the poor light quality. It's night time. It's basically the timing set. From the single cam, we don't have yet the twin cam stuff. In order to fully convert this to twin cam, we need the fuel. Uh, we need the oil pump rather from the uh, Galant GTI pre-1992 1G DSM stuff. So a bunch of stuff stuff still missing. Uh, we have to relocate the alternator. The alternator does not work in, in the existing location. It hits the turbo. So, priority turbo over alternator. So, thinking of putting the alternator below the intake manifold. So, this is a this is an EVO 4 intake manifold. So, it fits fine. Bolts on except... Um, see, there are two injector holes. Uh, this is for the EVO 4 and this is the 1G DSM uh, injector bosses. So we'll have to really, I thought I could use two injectors, but it's impossible due to the space constraint. So we'll probably just, uh, like what everyone's doing with these EVO 4 manifolds on rear wheel drive application, just have this welded shot. Uh, we have a guy to do it for us. And uh, cut this off. Anyway, cutting stuff off is easy. Just cutting off, but the welding part of aluminum will have it done. We can't. We don't know how to do that in house. Uh, this is a throttle body from a G4 JP. <laughs> this is uh, from the Sonata engine that we have uh, fitted to our project project coupe all wheel drive. So we're recycling old stuff. Since we're gonna go standalone, so it really doesn't matter what components we use. We have a simple idle control. We're not using the standard Mitsubishi servo setup. We're using an idle valve and the TPS from the Sonata so should be easier to hook up to a standalone and uh, the turbo manifold is stainless steel I don't know what you call this but this is a Vivant something right so this is for an external wastegate I don't know if we'll maintain the internal wastegate or convert to external I don't know but this cost well I need a new actuator I need a new actuator anyway because the actuator is missing from this turbo. Um, I don't know what is cheaper, getting an external wastegate or just getting the actuator. I think the actuator is cheaper so I'll just go with that one. 
the the compressor wheel hits the block, so we need to space the exhaust manifold out. It should be good. This one's a problem for swaps because it points towards the firewall, so we need to figure something out. Look for a different uh, thermostat cover housing that maybe points 90 degrees or something. So we'll figure that out. We'll finish the mock-up of this one. It, not everything is tightened. It's a mock-up. Well, obviously, it is a turbo block. And we're pleased to find out that it has oil squirter. So we could be more... Definitely, we'll have to change the pistons. I'm evaluating whether we should put uh, the Hyundai Sonata pistons that has 10 to 1 compression rated. It still has a dish, but it's higher compression than the turbo piston for 4G63, 6 bolter. Anyway, I have both. I have both pistons. Uh, it will cost more to adapt to the Sonata Pistons. Since I'm on a budget, maybe I'll just uh, stick to the Turbo Pistons, which I have. It's on the 1G rods already, so should be bolt onto this without having to machine this engine up. In Tagalog, idudukot lang namin yung Conrad. Uh, Papalitan namin piston sa ilalim. We're going to just pull out the conrad and piston from below and just put the new set of pistons back in, of course with new piston rings. So I don't know how long will this finish, it really depends on our budget constraints and we still have to work on this car but this I have to find the parts uh, to complete the braking system of this one and this is Project Elantra V6. We work on this one slowly slowly for the next few months. Because engine swapping it to the chassis, the Kia potential chassis will be some time still. So anyway, uh, just a quick update. Anyway, this is what we have achieved within the span of two days. Actually, one whole day. Not really two days. Uh, for me to bring it up to the engine stand was uh, kind of impossible. I needed to buy bolts. Uh, my guy showed up today and helped me assemble this one. So... Looking forward to finishing the mock-up so that we can really go for the refresh of this engine. There's still lots more to do. Building, an, building a whole car is not easy apparently, but I always, fall to, I always fall in the trap, the mental trap of thinking it's so easy. I guess YouTube makes it so easy, but anyway, that's the update of this engine for now. I really like the Kia Valve cover. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next episode, next installment of this.